So real quick before I get into this video, I'll show you guys a really great website to go to. It's called worldometer.com or .info. Um, basically every day you can kind of check it out, actually check it out twice a day. So right now there's 86,992 cases and this is as of March 1st, 2020. So you can kind of scroll down, look at the stats, new cases in China, new cases in South Korea, new deaths, 35. Here in the United States, we got a new case today. So it brings us up to 69. We got our first fatality. So pretty crazy stuff. Some of these other countries don't uh, report daily new cases anyway. Um, obviously, we've been told China's kind of lying about their statistics and stuff. But there's South Korea. Um, anyway, let's go ahead and get to the video real quick and guys show you what uh, I've got to say. All right, this video is a little different from my typical coin roll hunting videos. Just wanted to show you guys some stuff that I've been preparing for. So I went out today to Walmart looking for some uh, P95 respirator masks. I did find one at Harbor Freight. Uh, it was the only one in stock and they said they don't think they're going to get any more in stock. Walmart had none. Lowe's had none. Um, so I was only able to get that one. Um, so you guys got any luck getting those? Definitely pick those up with this new coronavirus going around. I did pick up some, a little bit of prepping supplies here, some Lysol wipes, a couple boxes of Advil, Tylenol, some Equate pain reliever, some allergy medicine, some peanut butter, honey, some vitamins, some aspirin, some Tums, uh, Aura Gel, that type stuff. Essential items like that, that um, when the coronavirus does come around and it's kind of an outbreak, obviously I don't want to have to run to the store to get these items and potentially risk uh, being contaminated or my family being contaminated. So I've got some Band-Aids. Also something I did pick up recently was this Thrive for Life um, food storage here, this can rotator. So basically see, kind of auto rotates, it's pretty sweet. So I can kind of stock up in the next couple weeks. It does hold big cans as well down here. So it's pretty bare. Like I said, obviously I got my work cut out for me, but super cool rack. Like I said, some chicken noodle soup, just one can. But like I said, I, it's a work in progress. Um, like I said, also I did pick up some couple cases of water. Never know. Uh, big thing is, like I said, coronavirus comes around. It becomes a big outbreak here in the States, or at least in my home state. Then um, kids aren't going to be going to school. I'm going to be having them stay home keeping them away from everybody as best as I can. Um, you know, I would wear a face mask respirator like that to go out to the grocery store because obviously I don't want to pick up anything from anybody, any kind of virus and bring it home to the family. Um, but the main thing is to have enough food stockpiled and stuff so I don't got to get out. Um, so basically we can just kind of ride out the storm, uh, do our best. Did pick up some nitrate gloves here two boxes of those just random stuff like that like i said i plan on really adding to this list but i wanted to head and go ahead and get that out there I was really shocked that already um here in missouri where i live that there wasn't more of these uh respirator masks like i said all the local hardware stores everybody's been sold out of those so if you're fortunate to still pick those up definitely grab them um, while you can but if you haven't subscribed already, please do that. Give the video a thumbs up and uh, comment in the comment section down below. Let me know what you guys are doing to start prepping um, and preparing for this uh, coronavirus outbreak. Thanks for watching, guys.